Chris Cantelmo here with another uh, vibration. And I want, to, I want to talk about what it means to be, have unconditional compassion. It's very hard to do. So here in my hometown of Lakeview Terrace, there are lots of homeless people. And there are, and, and you know, some percentage of those homeless people have serious mental, uh, mental health issues that don't get addressed because they don't have health care. And they, they don't, you know, doctors, doctors just want to get paid like everybody else. So when someone comes in with no money and no health insurance and no, they're not like in immediate uh, um, fear or, or they're not going to die immediately. There's no emergency per se to the, to the um, outside world. They get sent away. So anyway, uh, one of the homeless guys. So anyway, with the homeless people, I, I give them money directly. And those who, who are capable and wanting to work, I have them come over to my, I give them the, the work that I can. So I have them to come over to my house and they do gardening and stuff. And they do a great job, really great job. One of the guys, this guy Gary, the real sweetheart of a guy, he's been, he's 64. And uh, he's been homeless his entire, no, I shouldn't say entire, but uh, since he was seven, right? So he spent, you know, over 50 years being homeless and having nothing. Like, he, he finds little pieces of canvas and shit. He, he, he has a tent now and a, under a tarp, and he's, you know, living pretty high on the hog. Um, but I... Uh, I've reached out to him and, and I've now he comes over to my house and he does yard work and stuff so this morning and I feed him whenever I can so this morning okay, about 6 5 30 5 45 a.m. Uh, which you have to when you when you're gonna do outside work here it's so hot now that you got to do it early in the morning so um, he came in and, and I I microwaved up a burrito for him to eat and I'm like I'm a very compassionate person I think but but he like here's where you, you really got to you really got to work on your compassion. So Gary was eating the uh, the burrito in the kitchen. I don't. I like. I'm a, I'm a sort of like a total bachelor type guy. I don't have a, like a table, a dining room table to eat. And I don't, really don't have a table to eat on. So I just eat in the kitchen, like uh, uh, over the counter. So Gary's in the in the kitchen eating over the counter, and I'm in my living room right right nearby, on my phone. And Gary's like, the sound of him chewing is really starting to annoy me. And I start thinking, wow, it's really taking him a long time to eat that burrito, man. What's taking him so long? What's he doing in there in the kitchen, eating that burrito so slowly? I mean, what, the, what is wrong with this fucking guy? And here I am, like, this wealth, well, you know, by comparison, as we all are, by comparison to someone who has nothing, anyone who has anything is infinitely wealthy. So uh, here I am, uh, this, this person with living in an air-conditioned house, and I have things, and he has nothing, getting annoyed at him for taking too long to eat the food that I offered him. Oh man, life is a challenge. So, um, compassion is difficult, I know. Yeah, I know it is. And um, being very compassionate. And I get very animated in a lot of these videos and um, like I'm very combative in a lot of the videos, but what you need to understand is that I'm trying to tell you the most important truth you will ever hear. And that is, we are, our bodies are, they are 100% chemicals. And there's a chemical that's essential to our living a good, beautiful, spiritual life. It's a natural, it's naturally made by our bodies. But the environment that we live in now has resulted in the source of that uh, chemical, our pineal gland, getting unhealthy. So our pineal glands don't put out enough dimethyltryptamine, the, that critical compound. And when you do that critical compound, everything becomes clear and the, and the universe is a beautiful pla place. And, it, and so I'm trying to explain that to people is the best way that I know how. And uh, I get attacked for it a lot, a lot. People come out of the blue, they call me, like I try to explain this to teenagers, like, you, like adults, a lot of them are just a lost cause. They're never gonna, they're never gonna learn. Teenagers, they're not. They're still open to new ideas. So I started realizing, okay, I got to start letting teenagers know this because they're going to be young adults soon and this is going to be important to them. And uh, so I started talking about this to teenagers, not telling them they should do it. I've, I've made it very clear in all my videos. Kids under 18 do not need to be doing DMT or any psychedelic, any drug really. Uh, but I started 
preaching about this to kids. And so then I got accused of being a pedophile, a predator of kids. Now I have two boys of my own, 25 and 26. Uh, now, and if anyone gets within, I, I, am a, I am a peaceful man. But if anybody gets within my, the, the reach of my fist and calls me a pedophile, I'm gonna punch and I'm not gonna stop punching. That's how serious it is. You do not call someone a pedophile who's not a pedophile. Anyone who has a parent knows that. Anyone who is a parent and has kids knows that. Because anybody who has a kid, if any, if any person, any adult, tried to interact with one of your kids as a pedophile, you would kill them! Now let me make something very clear to the next person that gets near me and calls me a pedophile. I think I made it clear what's gonna happen to you. Now I'm trying to, I'm, I'm, I'm doing the best I can and I'm very good at what I do to explain things in a way that you'll understand. Now, if some of you don't disagree, you can just dis quietly disagree. Go fuck off and disagree in your own soiled underwear. I don't give a shit about you if you just want to disagree. I don't spend a lot of time disagreeing with people. I'm putting out positive information. I'm putting out new information. Now, some of you are, it's gonna take you a little while to catch up. Keep an open mind. Nothing about what I'm saying will be contradicted by truth, evidence, facts, science. Everything that I am saying will be corroborated by truth, evidence, facts, and science. DMT is the critical compound to human perception. Find DMT as soon as you can. Interact, it, interact with it in every way that you possibly can. And we'll all gain a little more compassion. Chris Cantelmo here with another vibration.